There are various ideas, facts, and opinions on Technic's amplifier's adoption of hybrid chipsets. Either you enjoy the sound signature, or you don't. I love it and I find myself coming back to this amp after auditioning several units, which on paper are better than the Technic's. Mark Ferno has a great insightful video on this platform that I found useful. He discusses the advantages and disadvantages of the hybrid chips and Technic's implementation of the cooling systems in place of the usual hate speech that is seen on most channels. It's advisable to view his video. 1991 Technic's SA GX303 Receiver Cooling Mod After seeing his video, I borrowed his concept and adjusted it to fit my Technic's SE A900S. I swapped out the original fan for a little 50mm fan to stop protection from turning on when it is triggered. For the exhaust, I utilized a Noctua NF-A8 PWM fan, and for the intake, I used two Noctua NFB9 Redex 1600 PWM fans. I utilized a PWM speed controller and a constant voltage AC-DC power module. The fan controller turns on the fan when the temperature of the hybrid chip reaches 34 degrees, 44 degrees at mid-speed, and 55 degree full speed T. My goal was for the cooling system to function independently from the amp power supply. Hopefully, this will result in the longevity of the hybrid chips.